Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video with Tish Hanley. I'm Dominic Welton, for those who don't know, and today we're gonna be talking about how to conquer something that half the population is estimated to have dealt with at one point or another, and that is dandruff. Now, there are countless anti-dandruff shampoos and hair products. You've definitely seen them advertised, but the main thing is to figure out what exactly is causing your dandruff, so then you can figure out exactly what you need to treat it. So what exactly is dandruff? Well, it's a skin condition which produces white flakes of dead skin cells in your hair. And we've definitely all seen it before. I mean, let's just be real. It's disgusting. I've had dandruff before. You see the little white flakes in your hair. Thank God I have friends that love me who will let me know, hey, you need to go wash your hair and take care of that because nobody, nobody wants to deal with dandruff. But unfortunately, like we mentioned before, half the population is estimated to have dealt with it at one point or another. So that's why it's so important that we talk today about how to conquer it. Now the human skin naturally produces new skin cells by replacing and shedding old ones. And people who have dandruff, their skin cell process is usually sped up a little bit faster, which causes their skin to shed more skin cells, produce more oil, and then those skin cells get clumped together, producing those white flakes we sometimes see in our hair. So what exactly causes dandruff? Well, contrary to popular belief, it's not just about dry skin. Sometimes even waiting a little bit too long to wash your hair can contribute. But right now, we're gonna discuss four of the top causes for dandruff. The first cause for dandruff is known as seborrheic dermatitis. Now that may sound like a huge medical term, but essentially what it is, is an inflammatory skin condition which causes little scaly patches of the oiliest parts of your skin, especially when the weather is a little bit too cold or a little bit too dry. Luckily though, for anybody that is dealing with this, it's pretty easy to treat. All you need is an anti-dandruff shampoo and an antifungal cream that you can apply to your scalp. Now this next cause for dandruff may creep you out a little bit. It definitely grossed me out, but it's fungi. Now this isn't such a huge problem if we keep it a check, but there is certain fungi that lives off of the oiliest parts of our skin. To control this again, it's pretty easy. Just make sure you're not going too long throughout the week in between shampooing your hair. And again, for extra precaution, make sure you're using a dandruff shampoo. Now the third thing that may be causing dandruff is called scalp psoriasis. Scalp psoriasis can cause dandruff-like flakes. However, it tends to look a little bit different. Psoriasis is actually a chronic skin condition which causes thick, scaly plaques of skin. Now these plaques are typically on your elbows and your knees. However, if you have dandruff in addition to this, chances are you probably have scalp psoriasis. A great option for this, if you haven't already, is just to make an appointment with a dermatologist so they can go over a plan for you on how to treat it. The last thing is diet, stress, and genetics. And although these don't necessarily have a direct correlation with dandruff, they definitely can make it worse. For instance, if you have a lot of stress, that can weaken your immune system, which is your number one source for fighting off dandruff-causing fungi. Your diet can also play a part in causing dandruff by stimulating hormones that increase your skin's oil production. And lastly, genetics play a huge role in determining your type of skin and immune system. So here is the takeaway. Although dandruff can be such a pain to deal with, conquering it is not impossible. And the best thing to do is to see somebody where you can diagnose the exact causes for your dandruff, so then you can create a plan of how to treat it. But the key here is just to be patient and allow your dandruff treatment to take its time to do its job. It's just like when you start a new acne routine, you want to make sure you're using the products consistently and you're patient with it because nothing happens overnight. However, with consistency and healthy habits set in place, you're eventually going to start to see the results. Now maybe you're one of those people that's thinking, alright Dominic, I get it, dandruff sucks and nobody wants to deal with it, but I don't deal with it on my scalp, I'm dealing with it in my facial hair, my mustache and my beard. Don't worry, I got you covered. Beard and mustache dandruff can be caused by dry skin, a buildup of dead skin cells, or fungal infections. Lucky for you, all it's gonna take is cleansing your beard, exfoliating your beard, and moisturizing your beard to keep that dandruff at bay. I would suggest just following a simple skincare routine for your beard to completely take care of your dandruff. I personally use Tish Hanley's Level 1 Skincare System for my face, and you can use the exact same skincare system for your beard to take care of that dandruff. The first thing you wanna start out with is their face wash. Use this throughout your beard. Make sure you're doing it at least once a day. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna use the exfoliator. Use about twice a week. This helps get all of the dead skin cells off. And the third thing you want to do is you want to use their moisturizer to really make sure you're getting all the moisture throughout your beard. There's no dead skin cells. There's no buildup of that plaque. And you're going to make sure with those steps that dandruff never sees the light of day on your beautiful beard. 
with that you guys that is our video on how to conquer dandruff if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to check out more videos from Tej, you can click over here if you want to learn a little bit more about their skincare systems you can click over here with that i'm dominic welton and i will see you guys later for another video bye bye